first I would like to preface this by saying that these comments were not from my own videos. These were replies to a couple comments I made on um, some Reddit videos showcasing a subreddit called Sad Cringe, which can be funny, but it has a lot of fictophobic content, just like um, Cringetopia videos. So I made a comment uh, telling the creators like, hey, you know, this actually has a lot of hateful content in it. Can you please stop putting that kind of stuff in your videos? Well, want to see the responses I got? That isn't real. You're just sad. Excuse me, but what is there in the definition of fictosexuality that has to do with being sad? The definition of fictosexuality is somebody who is exclusively attractive to fictional characters. What is sad about that? It doesn't imply anything about the person's mental state. Some studies have shown that um, neurodivergent people are often fictosexuals and uh, quite a few people with things like depression or anxiety are also fictosexuals. Gee, I wonder why, huh? Because of all the fictophobia out there. Yeah, it couldn't be that. Yeah, surely there's no correlation between all the fictosexual hate and the fact that a lot of fictosexuals have depression. Gee, maybe you're the one contributing to it. That's not a thing. It really isn't. You know what it is? Liking fictional characters. It's not a sexuality and it will never be. So, what is it then? A sexuality or sexual orientation is described as the gender or type of people you are sexually or rom romantically interested in. You literally just define, you said liking fictional characters isn't a sexuality. But you just defined what a sexuality is. It doesn't make any sense, lol. You are just weird. Oh my god, why can't so many people just grasp the concept of fictosexuality? It's not a hard thing to wrap your head around. They, they treat it like it's rocket science. Literally, the definition of the word is someone who is only attracted to fictional characters. Like, we know that gay means boys attracted to boys, lesbian means girls attracted to uh, girls, bi means people attracted to both genders. So what don't you understand about someone who's only attracted to fictional characters? It's that simple. Saying these things is making fun of the whole LGBTQ community, just like making up all the trillion labels like pup gender. First of all, you're comparing apples to oranges right here. A gender and a sexuality are two very different things. And the ones you're describing are two very different things. One is someone who's, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but their gender is associated with dogs or puppies. And the other is someone who likes fictional characters, okay? And second of all, there is a lot of LGBTQ people in the fictosexual community. You know, fictosexual is an umbrella term, kind of like um, how asexual can be an umbrella term for, or others, other things on the ace spectrum. So fictosexual is an umbrella term for people who are attracted to fictional characters of any gender. Like, you know, you have gay fictosexuals, bi fictosexuals, pan, you know, whatever whatever it is, if there's a label for uh, being attracted to those people in real life, then there's a label for fictosexuals too. What has become of our generation, bro? Yes, fictosexuality is a fairly recent term, but it existed long before today. Think back to all the classic cartoons with all the pretty women dancing like Betty Boop. Gee, I wonder why they made those, huh? Yeah, I wonder why they wanted to animate pretty women. Yeah, fictosexuality definitely didn't exist before then, uh-uh. Yeah, this is totally just a generational thing. Yeah, n no one's ever felt these feelings before. Why would they? That's silly. Seriously. That's... That's the logic there. Fictosexuality has been around before there was a term to define it. So yeah, 
Uh, thank you for that lovely little trip inside the heads of fictophobes. Wonderful, wonderful. And, and I commented back, you know, I'm not gonna fight with these people, it's just gonna make me look bad. So I said, do you guys know that you're bullying a minor online? And, you know, some people think being fictosexual makes you look bad. Well, you harassing a little girl because of her sexuality looks way worse on you than having one does on me. I hope that not just these people, but all fictophobes are ashamed of yourselves. You should be embarrassed for the things you say to people who are simply just not attracted to real people. You, you know, I, I guess I, I guess people have a problem with the fact that I'm I'm not willing to date a real man, but I'll fantasize about it. That's got some creepy implications, you know. Looks real bad on you if you're gonna say stuff like that. So, yeah, to I'm I'm not gonna put their names or links to videos or anything. You know, I'm I'm gonna preserve my I'm gonna preserve my honor. I, I'm gonna do something kind. You know, I'm letting these people off the hook easy. I'm not asking anyone to witch hunt or harass them back. I'm just showing you what goes on in the mind of a fictophobe. And you know what to to the people who made those comments and people who have left comments on similar videos, I hope that one of these days you have a friend or family member come out as a fictosexual. And I hope that they see these posts you've made. And, and hypothetically, you love this friend or family member. Imagine when they go on your YouTube account and they see oh, Fictor sexuality isn't real, it's just weird. Yeah, how are you gonna explain that one to them, huh? So, you know, on behalf of the fictosexual community, I hate you, fictophobes. Y you know, no matter, I hate all people who are racist, sexist, homophobic, whatever, but I, I truly hate fictophobes because they just can't seem to understand that not everybody is willing to have a relationship with a real person. Well, that was it. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm really, really trying to make some change and just make fictosexuality normal. I mean, you know, look at how far we've come for the gay rights movement. And I'm not asking for, you know, what they did, the brave and honorable things they did to get gay marriage legalized and just have rights. I'm, I'm not asking for, for stuff like that. All I'm asking is for you not to treat us like we're freaks. That, that's all I ask of society. It, it's that simple. It's just one simple little demand. And you know what? I don't care what kind of comments I, I get because I am going to stand up for who I am and for others who are too scared to stand up because it's hard out there. There's very little content relating to fictosexuality on the internet. And you know why? Because of this. People are afraid to come out because of people like this. And you know what? It, it's time to stop that. And I'm going to do whatever I can to make it normalized and accepted. So thank you very much. And I hope you do agree with my mission. Have a wonderful day.